Hello students, welcome to class and today we are going to be working out this simultaneous equation. Now we have equation 1 and equation 2. So the method of solving this is we we'll pick equation 1 okay, from equation 1. What we have to do is that we are going to square both sides, okay? So you have square root of x plus square root of y is equals to 10. So on squaring both sides, it means you will square, okay? Now, if you do this, what you are going to have is root of x plus root of y, okay? Into root of x plus root of y. Now, and this is going to be 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, in expanding this, uh, root of x times root of x will give us x. All right, now in case you don't understand what I've done, look at if you have root of x times root of x, is going to be root of x squared. So that this cancel this and is equals to x. Okay, so that's exactly what has happened now to move on root of x times root of y will be root of x y plus root of x y that is expanding the other side then plus y now this is equals to 100 so uh, this is x i'm bringing this y here so that plus y these two are common so i'm gonna have two root of x y is equals to 100 okay now having x plus y plus 2 root of x y is equals to 100 we have to check something look at this what does it mean we'll come down to our initial look at can you see okay it is very important that we know uh we can say but root of x y is equals to 12 so we are going to substitute so it's going to be x plus y plus 2 okay into 12 remember we substituted is equals to 100 right this x plus y plus 24 is equals to 100 then x plus y is equals to 100 minus 24 so x plus y will now be equals to 76. So this we'll see as our next equation. Let's say this is equation 3. Okay. Now recall that from equation 2 now, from equation 2, which we actually saw that it is root of x, y, that it is equals to 12. We square both sides, okay, just as we did in the first equation. So when you square both sides, what you are going to end up with will be um, x, y will now be equals to 144. And this should be my equation 4. So I've reduced everything, okay, to having x plus y is equals to 76. Then x, y is equals to 144. This being equation 3 and this being equation 4. Now, we are going to solve it using substitution uh, method. So, what do we do? From equation 3, we can see that our y will now be equals to 76 minus x. Very important. Now, once you've done this, okay, then substitute for y in equation 4 so what am i going to have i'm going to have x now instead of y i'm going to have 76 minus x okay it is now equals to 144 so this is going to be 76x, 76x minus x squared 
is equals to 144. Now we rearrange so that we are going to have x squared minus 76x plus 144 will now be equals to 0. So now here we have a quadratic equation that we will not waste any time. We are going to solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So we have these. These are quadratic formula. Okay. All over 2A. Now the A, B, C in this formula are coefficients. Here, uh, let me show you. Now we have x squared minus 76x then plus 144 is equals to 0. But recall the general uh, format of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx uh, plus c is equals to 0. Now when you compare the terms, you see that a is equals to 1. Then b will now be equals to minus 76 and c will now be 144. Okay? So we will now fix in our values so that we are going to have x will now be equals to minus uh, into minus 76 cover the bracket plus minus root of minus 76 but all squared okay then we have minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 144 then everything here will be all over 2 into 1 okay so my x will now be equals to 76 then plus minus root of um 76 all squared will be 5776 okay minus um 576 that is 4 times 144 okay of course this is going to be all over uh 2 now this will now be 76 plus minus this is going to be root of uh, 5,200, I think. Then all over 2. Now my x will now be um, equals to 76 plus minus. Uh, this in short form will be um, 20 root 13. So this is going to be all over 2. Okay, now we can factorize 2 out so that we can have um, 38 uh, plus minus 10 root of 13. This will be all over 2. So the 2 will cancel this. Now you can end up with x being either we say is 38 plus minus 10 root of 13 or we will say it is 38 minus um okay now no need of adding the minus here let me pick um here being plus okay then this is minus the root of uh 10 10 root of 13 now since i have this but recall recall that our y is equals to 76 minus x okay so you come down and do it like this when x is going to be 38 plus 10 root of 13 then y will now be equals to 76 uh, minus into 38 plus 10 root of 13 so y will now be equals to 76 minus 38 minus 10 root of 13 so that y will be uh, 38 minus 10 root of 13. Now we can combine it together just like we have x and y. We know that the x is 38 plus 10 root of 13. Okay. So also um, we are going to have the y as 38 minus 10 root of 13 so we are done with this aspect then the second aspect is when y sorry not y when x is equals to 
38 minus 10 root of 13 we are going to have y to be 76 minus into 38 minus 10 root of 13 this will be y is equal to 76 minus 38 plus 10 root of 13 so y will now be equals to 38 uh, plus 10 root of 13 now when we combine it together to here we are going to have 38 minus 10 root of 13 cover the bracket then the other value which is y is going to be 38 plus 10 root of 13 so this is um, a very good solution i want to believe you really enjoyed the video so please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe i have a lot of interesting videos that will be coming your way soon thank you so much for watching